So sorry to interrupt, but I realized that the ceramic insert that I wanted to use isn't compatible with the sapphire crystal I chose. It was supposed to fit based on the specifications of the manufacturer, but clearly it didn't. So I decided to go back to an old favorite, a double dome sapphire crystal. Just wanted to explain, so I'll see you guys in a bit. So here is the completed build, but first, if you're interested in purchasing this watch or commission an entirely new custom watch of your own design, please do shoot me an email and I'll be happy to make that possible. Here's some examples of pieces that were commissioned by my previous clients, so uh, yeah, do let me know. Almost every single day I get asked this question, can you make a mod that looks like the Rolex, Submariner, Pepsi, Batman, Explorer, Explorer 2? I've got asked almost everything. And my answer is always yes. Maybe not 100% the same, but I can make something very similar. Basically a homage of some sort, which is essentially what this Seiko GMT is. If you've been following my work, you will know that I don't really make homage builds and it's not because I have anything against them. The reason why I love what I do is because one, I find watches to be fascinating, but also because I get to express my creativity. I want to come up with and build my own designs, not recreate something that's already out there. The Blow Moon, Comet, Two-Tone Stealth, Elemental, and even the Makara are all designs that I came up with. But I understand the appeal of homages because realistically, Rolexes are very expensive. Not everyone is willing to put down that much money even at retail. So having a Seiko mod version is kind of like a fun middle ground and it's not permanent either because things can always be changed back. Now, before we take a deep look, a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community of thousands of inspiring classes ranging from photography, illustration, freelancing, product design, and much more. New classes are launched each week and they're also ad-free for you to stay concentrated. I use Skillshare to learn specific skills to improve my channel and also my custom watch business as well. For instance, I really like Jerry Banfield's class, Start Live Streaming Today, which was very helpful when I did my 100k subscriber stream with you guys. Unlike video, live streaming is a completely different monster. So the fact that he went over the equipment and what programs to use was super helpful. There's also classes like John Karsivev's How to Design, Manufacture, and Build a Brand for anyone that's looking to start their own watch company. He goes over everything you need like finding manufacturers, designing a case, handling the finances, and marketing logistics. So you can start a watch business kind of like mine by taking a class for it on Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So please do take advantage of this opportunity. It does support my channel, so do give it a try. It's free. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video, which allows me to make mod videos for you guys. So to answer all the emails and messages I got from you guys right after the Rolex GMT Master 2 Death Show was released, yes, I can build something like it. This build utilizes the NH36 movement, has a signed desk crown, double dome sapphire crystal with AR coating on the underside, as well as an original Seiko dial. The new Rolex GMT Master 2 is interesting because it's a Death Show design with the crown and the date at the nano clock position so i thought it would be fun to try to make a similar watch but in the more traditional three o'clock configuration obviously it would have been a more closer example if i was able to use that cyclops crystal but it wasn't compatible with the insert as you saw. I prefer the double dome sapphire crystal anyways because it gives a more streamlined feel between the slope ceramic insert and the dome crystal. Honestly, homages aren't really my thing, so I'm most likely going to change out a few parts to make it more something that I would likely design. Some new hands, chaptering, bezel, maybe the insert as well. So that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Consider becoming a channel member if you really enjoyed this type of content follow me on instagram at loom underscore shot and i'll see you guys in the next video